Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing the Spicy Sicilian Style Thin Crust Pizza from Great Value. So, this is a spicy pizza with mozzarella cheese, pork sausage, crumble, Gen Gen Genoa sausage, and hot bana banana peppers. Cooks in 13 minutes and I got mine cooked perfectly to a crisp in the air fryer in like 8 minutes or so. Looks real good. I'm excited to have this here. And I like the banana peppers and the spicy crumble, the pork sausage crumble. Makes it really nice. So it has extraordinary flavor in every slice. So for one fourth of the pizza, I cut this up into fourths. It has 230 calories, which is not bad. So the total pizza has around 900 calories, so it's not terrible. Some pizzas are way more. Uh, even some pizza slices are upwards of 400 calories at some restaurants. So. Um, we have 230 calories per one fourth slice, or one fourth of the pizza, 11 grams of fat, 24 grams of carbohydrates with two fiber, three sugar, and 10 grams of protein. So there's 40 grams of protein in this entire pizza. Not bad, not too bad. So you can cook it in the oven at 425 for 11 to 13 minutes. That's usually how long I would cook it for. And the convex, ran it in an air fryer, I got it cooked in about eight minutes or so. So time really does vary, keep an eye on it. And the ingredient list, it looks mostly all like real food. <laughs> I don't see home any, I don't really see any names on there that look um, concerning, so that's good. <laughs> and I will get into having this pizza then. I really like a spicy style pizza, so I'm excited to get into this here. Start with this slice right here. Didn't do a great job cutting it in that. <clears throat> First bite is going to have some of the pepperoni on it. Mm. Crunchy. I love the texture that air frying food gives because it makes it feel like it's a lot un more unhealthy than it really is. So the spicy pepperoni, I guess the Genoa salami, my bad, salami, it gives it a nice little fiery boost. It's not spicy pizza, it says spicy on it, I don't find it very really spicy, but it is flavorful. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I didn't cook the back side as much as I should have, but the top is crunchy. That's all that really matters. Mmm. Great texture. Great value. Great pizza. See a little banana peppers on it. I really like that. Banana peppers are underrated. I think banana peppers or jalapeno peppers are some of the best pizza toppings, so... That's good. Mm. Yeah. We've got some slices that have more topping on than others. But it all tastes pretty good. The toppings are great. Not too high in calories. <clears throat> Everything about this is not... Um, it's not a restaurant pizza by any means, but... I think it was like three something. It wasn't expensive at all. And it came out looking like this and tastes pretty good too. It's a pretty big win for value budget pizza. <sighs> Can't go wrong. I like that. So I'm going to give this pizza a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10. What I like most about it is it's cheap. It doesn't taste bad. Low calories. It's got a little bit of spiciness to it. Like overall, this is pretty, pretty good. Like... Cannot complain with this. I like the low calories. That is pretty good. Um, it is thin crust pizza, so thin crusts have less calories than obviously a thicker crust would. And yeah, it's got 40 grams of protein in the whole pizza. It's pretty decent considering it's pizza. And at 900 and some odd calories, 30 or whatever calories, 20 calories for 40 grams of protein, it's really good. So I like this pizza. 
it gets the job done, not too expensive, and tastes good. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and I will see you in the next video.